Okay, trailer upgrades. Locks for the coupler. Lock for the locking pin. Usually a lock inside the ball area here. In addition to that, safety chains with clips and they're chains instead of cables. Here you see the regular D key or the brake lockout, non-magnetic. The one I've got in here now is the magnetic version. Backside's orange. Fits in the slot, keeps the brake from engaging. Okay, going further back, we have the Fulton F2 two-speed winch. And how the speeds work is you just pull this out. That's the second gear, second speed. Push it back in to get back to the first speed. Okay, moving down. We've got a rampant clamp and keel shield. Uh, so that really helps with power loading. Um, you can usually get back on the trailer pretty quickly. Followed by a jetboaters.net spare tire cover and a Fulton F2 trailer jack, which I do not recommend. I think it's POS. It's a good looking one, but it's still a POS. And then I've got my faux rims for my trailer. Just didn't think it was worth the money uh, to spend on that particular upgrade. Also added these, uh, these Bode VV guides. Let's see what I mean in a second. The guide actually has a bow to it. And mine touch, which uh, works best for me. They touch the boat, along with the LEDs and the Ronix covers. Next up right here will be the boat buckles. Have them for a while, these probably need to be replaced soon, but great self-retracting boat buckles. Always good. And then there's the rear view camera that I referenced earlier. I'll show you a view of the, the front view in the display later. And finally, uh, this was a galvanized trailer. I painted it with truck bed liner a few years ago. Um, as well as replaced all the bunks a few years ago. So, trailer is good to go. All this is really meant to make boating easier, or at least the trailering part of boating easier. It's a 2010 Ford Expedition. Um, unique thing about this one is it's got a front hitch. Another thing is the rear view camera and front view camera, or bumper camera. Um, one view and that's of the street in front of us uh, that's for the front hitch actually and then there's another camera that's not hooked up right now which is at the back of the boat trailer so i can always see what's behind the boat um 24 7 camera so never overheats